she's all excited. You're all excited for work today? Yeah, I think so. Huh? All excited for work. All right, push over. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. It's okay. We're gonna go to work. We got work to do, you know. Okay, so this is the supply. I pookied the bottom really good with um, duck seal. The outside, I'll, I'll tape all the outside with tape. I got my piece cut here for the top. Like I said, I folded these two edges out. So I'll, I'll drop it in the top and the bottom. And then I'll fold these, these two edges back and screw it all in good. That's how I do it. The little final piece. Sometimes you can get by with just folding one edge, but it, sometimes it's easier that way. Alright guys, here's my piece here for this this return. Same thing. I got the the pieces folded out. I kind of bent these edges. You can see how I, I kind of bent the edges, so to the angle I needed. Because it is pretty much of a, a drop there, you know. So let me get that in. I got the body on. Pull the bottom. All pokey good. And then, you know, the sides I'll tape up really good. And I'll have to wrap it. Wrap the supply at least. I'll probably do both. <clears throat> well, you can see how it folds in. Now I just have to fold these edges and screw them in. And then tape it. I'll give you some shots when I'm done. You guys can appreciate it, but I'll have to step back so you can see. If I step back, you can see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but see how this is all oily. This is all oily here. So there was a leak somewhere in, somewhere in one of these joints. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I got it disconnected here. I'm going to put the new one. I'm going to put the, a new pad on top of that old pad. And I'm going to put legs on top of that even, I think. Snow legs. I'm going to reuse the line set because... Uh, It's all um, it's all braised in there. So even upstairs, I've seen it. It does go from three eight to half inch old. I might cut that out and run just three eight upstairs, but because uh, this is in the eaves, it's really hard to get this change this pipe. It's really hard when you go up into the eaves like that because you don't have a lot of room to bend it. Uh, I usually don't like doing it like that. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to reuse this line set. We'll hook it all up and we'll put pressure to it and see if it holds. If it don't hold, well, then I'll I'll change it, but I'm going to try to try to reuse it. Blow it out with uh, nitrogen. Hey y'all, we're back here with the old American standard. Oh yeah, mama. She's coming out, mama. Oh yeah. Next level. She's a leaker. She's a leaker, mama. She's a leaker. Oh, yeah. Kind of flattened that out. Oh, I'm going to over it. Yeah, we'll try something like that. We'll get the condenser over and see what it looks like. Right in line with the pipe. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'll put this box over and blow out them lines with nitrogen. <clears throat> we'll see if any stuff comes out of them, but that's looking good on the pad there. Oh 
looks okay. Looks pretty good. There's little stickies that go on there. I'll put them on after. Once I get it all, all set, I'll put them stickies on the feet. And once I put them down, I ain't going nowhere. I think I'm gonna be good with that. My gun's leaking by a little bugger. Look at that. Oh, we got 200 psi on that baby. I got my lines cut right here. I'll blow them out. That's the one I really want to blow out was a liquid line. Should be some stuff coming out into that box. Nothing but quality here, huh? some 3 8 to half inch I'll just cut it and I'll run a, a 3 8 line over no I'm not gonna use this half inch well there was nothing in there nothing in there mama That's that by 8 stuff. You're gonna use a minimal, minimal amount of flux when you do it. Ready. I don't like to wipe it. I'll wait till after it cools and then wipe it because it could crack. Set for a bit and should be fine. 
173, 174. Give that a minute. I'll put my vacuum on. I'll stop pulling a vacuum on it. Put my vacuum stuff. It's going to be fine, I'm thinking. Alright guys, that thing's tight. She's not budging. I'll get my vacuum pump going on there and we'll uh Alright guys, I put these 45s, uh, when I pull my vacuum, these 45s, so when I'm done, I can shut those valves off. Shut the valves off, and I can open up those, those ports and let the gas in. So we got 3.8 Appion hoses I've been using lately. I got the half inch ones, but I like these 3.8 ones better, to be honest with you. And I just go into my pump there, there's two 3.8 tappings, and, and I'll put my, uh, Put my gauge right there. I gotta get some more blue stuff. I didn't have any blue, so I used the red. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. This is important to use Nialog on all the connections if you want to pull a good vacuum. So I'll let it go for a little bit. It's a little cold out here. Probably only about 50 out. So. To a good vacuum. It's the Nialog. You gotta use this stuff, man. You actually should be using the blue stuff on 410A, but uh, it's just gonna be, you know, just those, just those fittings there, because this stuff just on the vacuum doesn't matter. I gotta get some more blue. Shut those two valves off, and then release the gas into the into the lines. Um, I'll have to come back on a warm day to check the charge, but it should be pre-charged, pretty close to um, you know 25 feet, and that's about what I am. All about 25, 30, 30 feet maybe for the unit. So, like I said, I'll have to come back on a warm day. It's only 50 out. I can't check it today. Alright guys, I got it all tied in. I got the refrigerant line tied in. I got the uh, return <coughs> all insulated. I got the supply all insulated. The wiring's all done. I just gotta turn on the switch there. The breakers are off in the house. I got the float switch there. What I did on this, uh, this pan was I just came down through and I'm sticking down. I'm just sticking down in the garage there, so if anything, if anything happens, it'll drain into the garage. But I got the secondary, got the secondary um, float switch on there, so it should shut off anyway. And I broke red, so I cleaned up all the stuff that was up here. What a flipping mess, man! Look at the garage. I gotta have to come back tomorrow and clean up this mess because it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I'm just picking up, pick up my tool and get out of here. It's late. It's probably four o'clock already, so.
All right, guys, I came back and I, I leveled it off a little bit better and, you know, put a bunch of... The guy was out here with his flipping level. It's off half a bubble! <laughs> so we got it all done. Let's go all tied in. I can't charge it because it's... It should be pre-charged basically for 25 feet, so it's going to be close. I need to check it though on a hot day. It's only like 50 today. So I will be back, you know, in a month or so when it starts warming up. Yeah, it's a Goodman. Well, they're all right. Goodman's okay. You know, not definitely not top of the line, but it'll be all right. It's all leveled and got it up on the snow leg. That didn't come out okay. You know, second, you know, I got another pad underneath that, and I just left it. I put the other one right on there. Looks good. I put the date inside the cover. So, I'm going to come back and uh, fill out the warranty form with the guy, and I'm going to pick up all the stuff in the garage. The truck's pretty full now. I'll come back tomorrow for this condenser. She's a leaker, Mama. She's a leaker. I could have probably fixed the leak, but, you know, the thing was out of 22 last year, and I, had, I put some in it and told the guy, you know, the thing's getting it getting to be a little, uh, you know, it's not a, not a 13 seer, so it's a 10 seer, and uh, put matching equipment in. There she is, the baby dog! All excited. Oh, yeah, you all excited? Oh, you gonna do a little dance? Oh, you're gonna do the little dance? Let's see you do the little dance. Let's see you do the little, little, little doggy dance. There you go. There's the dance. There's the dance. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on. You gotta push over. Gotta make some room for me. I'm gonna go home now. Come on. We'll go home. Oh, yeah. I'll give you some snacks. Yeah, I'll give you some snacks. She's gonna flip and lick me. This dog's gonna lick me. She's gonna lick me. <laughs> She's a liquor, mama! She's a liquor! Oh, yeah, she is. Come on, push over. Come on. She's next level, mama. She's a next level double dog, man. Oh, yeah. Picture the proud master HVAC technician. HVAC excellence. RSESC certified. Oh, yeah. You're a smart little doggy. Oh, yeah. HVAC certified? Oh, yeah, you are. You're going to get Nate certified next. Oh, yeah, you want to do the Nate certification? I think you could pass that test. No problem. All right, come on. She's studying for her Nate certification, Mama. <laughs> Let me Nate certified. Oh, yeah. pick the rest of that scrap up and stuff so my truck's pretty full now I don't know if I have I guess I could have put it in there but uh, it's getting late I gotta give the guy a bill and write out the warranty fill all that warranty stuff out so let me come back he says in the other part of the attic he's got he's got one flex stuff that's gonna rip on and he wants me to tape up so I gotta climb up in there and do that too I guess 